Uh, now, Andy, I'm glad we have you because um, the um, uh, one thing I wanted to uh, to definitely bounce off you was the uh, Emmy Awards were were uh, announced, or at least the nominees. And mm-hmm. I, I am looking through this thing, and I, I cannot find the word Marin in here. What's going on? <laughs> we got robbed. We got robbed. Uh, There's, uh, the nomination process is fixed, as far as I'm concerned. Someone, the pay is in. The, uh, the, 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 fix? the, jig, the jig is up. The, fi- the, the fix is in. Well, whatever. I don't watch those kind of movies like this. I don't sit around watching The Sting <laughs> like you do 12 hours a day. <laughs> I don't watch Sleuth. I don't have Sleuth on Blu-ray like oh, you have. I've got it on Laserdisc. Are you kidding? I've got it on every format that's ever been made. I have I have a um, a, uh, a Betamax version of it. Oh, I, that used to be my go-to in the 80s. What is that? What, you got a Betamax over there? Boom. <laughs> that was it. That was a surefire close. Do what you f- got on it? This guy must have an Edison spool at home. Boom. <laughs> Uh, that's right, folks. Uh, Andy Kindler is going to be doing this until well into his 70s, according to his Twitter uh, feed today. Uh, Andy. Uh, <laughs> I laugh because it's not that far off in realistic terms. Right. We're only months away, right? Um, I I just keep thinking, I keep a, a browsing online condo circuit. Those are my keywords. Condo circuit. <laughs> um. Do, do, have you uh, have you did you follow who got nominated for the Emmys? You must, right? I kind of did. I don't know. It is the, I mean, come on. I, I, I first of all, I'm never going to be in the award show. That ship is sailed. Uh, you know, and I practice so much at home. I have a red carpet. I roll out. Did and, you? Uh, let me ask you. Did you happen. ever? Did you ever like? Did you ever practice your acceptance speech for an Emmy? I. Uh, no, I haven't done Come that on. because I'm not, I'm not living in it. Well, I just think I'd be funny uh, off the cuff. No, I don't. I don't have. Sure, I have several versions of it on uh, written already, <laughs> plugging in different shows. I want to say that being on Law and Order SVU has been some of the greatest years of my life. Well, no, there's some comedy. Uh, look, let's let's go out. Uh, let's let's talk about the the uh, outstanding. Uh, Lead actresses in a comedy. You tell me if you've watched any of these because I haven't watched many. Lena Dunham for Girls. Yeah, I enjoyed. I enjoyed that show. Edie Falco I for Nurse Jackie. Is that even a comedy? I didn't realize that was a comedy. They don't. The Emmys don't do it that way. The Emmys say, "Hey, why don't we put uh, uh, a late? Uh, we'll put the Letterman in with the uh, the seventy ninth Emmy uh, Academy Awards, and uh, also we'll stick it on miniseries in which there are no consonants." Well, well, I mean, uh, but uh, the the rest of them are coming. <laughs> this is my worst. This is my worst set I've yeah. ever had in a club, on the phone, <laughs> in a conversation, <laughs> in a dream. <laughs> I'm off my game, Sam. You know what? Everybody is today. I'm tired. I'm uh, I'm annoyed. I'm worried about the internet all the time now. Uh, Julia yeah. Louise Dreyfus in Veep. You like that show? No, I. I'm in the minority on this show because I love the guy Armando Iannucci, who is the uh, creator of that show. He did a show in in uh, London or England or whatever the hell you call that area, UK. It's one of the greatest shows you'll ever see. It's called The Thick of It. It's what Deep is based on, but The Thick of It looks like a documentary. It's amazing. Whereas Deep, I think Deep is the wrong show for our times. We don't have that situation now. It's not like that with the bumbling this and the everything is a uh, bipartisan mayhem. It doesn't. It, it, now, uh, tell me why I'm wrong. Well, wait a second. I want to dig into this because this is interesting. Uh, well, what do you think? You, you're saying that it doesn't capture what is really the mood about politics? Uh, can you please say you want to push back on it or that you want to drill down <laughs> or you want to unpack it? You want to unpack it further. Yeah, okay? let's unpack like it. Alex Wackers let's, uh, let's, un- let's, <laughs> let's unpack Alex, it. Alex Wackers. Yeah, Alex Wackers constantly. You know what? Why don't you get luggage? That's when you unpack luggage. You don't unpack. Uh, news of, of, of events. Well, let's get to the meaning in which let's get to the meaning in yeah. what you're saying here, or let's uh, let's pull out the different clothing items in what you said and yes. uh, account for them and put them back into the drawers. Let's button up the shoes. Let's take the shoes out of this and stick them with the socks and see if the if the stretching and the underwear is still good. Well, no. I mean, tell me, were you saying that it's not uh, it's not this oh. political time or what? Well, here's the thing. 
I always have to make feelings because, first of all, I've alienated every single person in the world. I have friends in that show. Matt Walsh, I think, is brilliant. There's very funny I got news for you. We had Matt Walsh on this program, and, um, you know, he's not that brilliant. I mean, he's very good, uh, but he's, I wouldn't say brilliant. I was just saying that because I figured it would be a good thing for me to say. Well, I was I just like, saying that to get you to say that you didn't mean it. I don't like him. I don't like him. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. I've, I'm going, I've gone sour on you. Who else? What? Really? Why? Okay. What, what happened? No. Who Who else no, is, no, are you I friends you. with on that show? Uh, well, that's not true. First of all, I auditioned for that show. They were very all nice. Right. To me. I see what's going on. All the rejections. Yeah. Of all the rejections. That was one of the nicest rejections I've had. Uh, there also there's the guy who's Joe from uh, the show that everyone liked. That uh, the thing with the irreconcilable arrested what's development. What's the show on ABC? Midget yeah. Curve. Yeah. So that guy's in the. There's funny people, but it doesn't make me laugh. I have a problem with a lot of things, but when I watch Park and Rex, Parks and Rex, do I need to have a hipster come over and watch it with me so they can explain why I should be into it? <laughs> <laughs> You're a hipster. Tell me why this little uh, these these two people bantering. First of all, there isn't a parks department like that. There is, it doesn't exist where they're all hanging around and cracking wise. There's a guy with a broom and a custodian. That's a park center. Wow. <laughs> wow, I don't know. Have you done? Have you actually gone out and done any research on this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, excuse me. Uh, are there any spare volleyballs? Hold on. I'll check next week. Can you help me unpack rack. this? Uh, Melissa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, Melissa McCarthy. What is Mike and Molly? No, that's not. That's a show that you that uh, you, you're not supposed to watch. You just leave that on the background. And you do your homework. I've never even and heard of it. She's hilarious. Never even heard of it. Oh, it's on Channel Two. It's a Chuck Lorre uh, joint. <laughs> you know, we don't all have the same channels, right? Channel Two, like you say, it's Channel Two. Like it's not. Hey, hey, what do you got, Sam? You watching Channel Two? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to the I got channel. Outstanding Chuck lead actor. Chuck with the eleven. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Listen, McCarthy's funny. Oh, by the way, just want to let you put it in there. Go. You're on. Outstanding lead actor, Louie. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, this guy, this guy took this this show. This year, it's like, you know what? Are you getting interested? Good. We're going to another scene. We're switching to a, now we're in a bowling alley. You like that? <laughs> Great. Now we're in the back of Russ's daughters, and he's shoveling a carp down his uh, hook. <laughs> You happy now? Okay, now you're in uh, you're in Russia, and uh, I'm, I'm watching a contact uh, play frisbee. So you don't like the fact that uh, some of the the episodes are a little bit uh, disjointed. It doesn't. Why is everybody saying that about this season? It seems to me that's been uh, basically the way it's worked for since season one. Um, can you consider? Well, okay, he does some of the best uh, grimacing in the business. <laughs> He does a he does a good his one of his classics. He he spot he lets air out of his mouth better than Brando would uh, do that. He walks he walks you don't know what's going on. He is internal there must be an internal dialogue that's going on. <laughs> he sleeps. Have you seen him sleep? Have you seen him sleep? He opens his eyes for a second. He has to get used to the lights. That's one of his bits. <laughs> My gosh. Wow. Yeah. Andy, how long have you and yeah. Louis uh, been at each other's throats? Or I should say, how long have you been at Louis's throat? I don't, I don't think Louis really. Look. <laughs> yeah. He could, could, he could, as well, I like to use the phrase correctly, he couldn't care less what I think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am very good friends with him. It's all a bit. Uh, Louis, let me tell you something. Louis C.K., if you want to find a guy who's not out for himself, a guy who's not in it, for, who has no ambition, a guy, it's not about the ambition, it's not about the attention, it's about how he gives to the, that's the man. He's the man, he's a, he is a selfless, uh, it's almost like a charitable function. Show business to him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Let's. Uh... He has to get. He has to get a hat. His hats are four sizes larger to uh, to be able to accommodate his bulging ego. He's been to, He's had cat scans done. 
because of the size of his ego. All right, let's go to, uh, let's, I think we have enough. Okay, too far, too far. Too well, far. I just think that the hat, if you're digging down into, if you're digging that deep. Uh, I know. Uh, in unpacking for the hat joke. Uh, <laughs> I know it, Call back. Jim Parsons from The Big Bang Theory. Oh, boy. I like him. I, oh. That show, what? A, a lot of people like that show. I can't, I don't understand it. It's another show. Chuck Lorre has 15, right now he has 55 shows on the air right now. <laughs> 55. They're all on CBS, and they run from Monday morning through Friday night, and they're all, they are still standing, I think is his. Uh, what's happening? Oh, I left something in my other pocket for <laughs> his shows. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll tell you something. I have watched that show. I am I am friends with uh, Johnny Galecki. I, you know, I don't I don't talk to him too much, but but on occasion, uh, I, I've watched the show, and all it makes me feel is like I am so out of it. I, yeah, I, you're not out of it. You're I can't, not out of it, Sam. I, I have trouble actually, like even following what what the heck they're talking about. The nerds. Oh, they're okay. like into science and stuff. No. So, and then all of a sudden, who, who, who would think the ladies would like them? But the ladies don't like them. And then they uh, they have activities. And they're and I think they're all about <laughs> 70 years old now. So I don't know why they're still living in an apartment. Let's uh, let's move. I want to ask you this. In fact, most of this has been a build up to this. Outstanding Variety Series, The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon. Ooh. Yes. My boats are in. No more. No more boats. Okay. No, who would you give this to? The the uh, the Colbert Report, J- uh, Daily Show with John Stewart, Jimmy Kimmel Live, Real Time with Bill Maher, Saturday Night Live. Uh, real time. <laughs> they want to give it. Is there a category for an, uh for a hate mocking, a hate mongering, Islamophobic religion basher? Is that the category? Wow. Least wow. is it, you. That's right. Did anybody have the problem with it? <laughs> I can't even keep up the character. <laughs> uh, how come Letterman's not in there? What's that? No, Letterman? Yeah. Letterman. Letterman's oh, not in there. He is not. Oh. oh, okay. Well, I would go... I don't think the Daily Show's gotten any uh, awards. So I would <laughs> get it. Go Bear. Go Bear Report. There you go. Yeah, you're so excited about him going to. If John Oliver well, show I mean, it, take that next year. Yeah, wrong. what do you think about the John Oliver show? I thought, how many daily shows are we going to have? Three, ten? Really how many do we need? Oh, boy. I, I disagree show. with you a little bit, Andy. This show is really good. I actually good. think the that best of all of them. he goes into a, a lot more depth, and I think that in some ways he actually he kind of takes aim a little bit more at the substance of things instead of just kind of playing the same Fox clips and mocking them, you know? Oh, I have to watch something now to have an opinion? <laughs> now I have to watch it. Nice. Thank you. I would never now want I you to actually have to watch something. Um, you know what it is? I can't, I can't take the, the format starting to drive me crazy. So uh, uh, I, I will accept what you're saying. I will cha- I change my mind. I withdraw. Uh, is there is it, did Jimmy Fallon, is he in the category of the most obsequious uh, television personality? Is that what the... <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll keep the I'll keep the John Oliver no shot. Uh, on the uh, I am know. Dick Whitler says Andy Kindler sounds like Jerry Lewis raping Gilbert Gottfried. Mm, I don't like uh, I don't like when people uh, use the word Jerry Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair enough. So, Andy, what's going on with you? Are you still shooting Marin's show, or is that already canceled? I mean, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, you know, Sam, I know you've only been in show business for 40 years, but when you're seeing a TV show in the air, they've already wrapped that season. Hello? Oh, is it on? Yes, I right now. I know, I'm joking. <laughs> I, I don't know who this guy is I'm doing. <laughs> uh, what's going on with me is that I, 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 I decided not to stand with Ant and got everybody upset. What's that, stand oh, with Ant? Good, good. He, Wait, what uh, is this? The people who were... Defending Anthony Cumia, that's Opie and Anthony. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's your take on yeah. that? My take on that is, well, first of all, I still can't believe that people understand that there's a big difference between free speech and having a radio job. You know, if I'm the head of a network, I don't have to green light the, you know, the Nazi hour. You know, it's like, uh, that's not what free speech is. But I just think that the fact that nobody, unless those tweets were, uh, 
you know, they were weren't his tweets, you know, like something that someone fabricated them. They're racist. So right. I don't understand what why can't we all just say this this guy's racist, or at least I'm not even just saying he's racist. That was a racist rant. I mean, what do you say about a show? I've never listened to the show. But what do you say about a show that the their first instinct after the Trayvon Martin verdict is to interview George Zimmerman's brother? That's what they that's right. their take. Right. So why are we standing? I don't understand. What are we standing with there? And also, they're, they're boycotting serious. These are the same people who hate when anything is boycotted. Yeah, I mean, I you know, I I I didn't even realize. I haven't even followed it that much to know that that was going on. Uh, but what are they doing? They're bringing in Jim Norton. Is it going to be the uh, Opie and uh, Norton show? He's always been on that show. I've never listened to him, but he's—I think he's been on that show for the last five years. Oh, I uh, don't. I, those but people he's been, he's make been promoted. Seems uh, he's been promoted. But that's, that, that whole genre makes me nervous. I've never. It reminds me of people like I, it took me so long to like Howard Stern because like, all I could focus on was like, with his audience. So it's like you know, like the Opie, the Opie, the Anthony fans—they wouldn't let you know. Bill Burr had to scream at them to get through a set, and it's like a famous thing on YouTube. If you're fa- and they called me, uh, what kind of language can we use on the, can I use any language I want? Uh, we actually, right now we can, yeah, we're past one o'clock. Okay. Um, they, so they, and then they start, of course, trying to intimidate me, which is very, very easy to do. It's bad. <laughs> and uh, they call me all, all faggot. Shut what? up, you all faggot. They called you uh, alt faggot? All faggot. And I think my act is mainstream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they. Oh, oh, I see. So they were they were saying that you were faggy Twitter, because you Twitter. were doing alt comedy. They just they're, they're like the most. I can't think of more just horrible people than the people who, who listen to the show. I'm sure there's very nice people. Uh, a lot of professors, I'm sure, listen to the show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I don't know. You're part of the whole cringe comedy movement. I don't understand. <laughs> Uh, I'm part of the whole fringe comedy movement, is that you said? Or no, it's cool. So they, you know, they have that cringe, cringe humor. I don't think you even know about this stuff. No, because you're not in the stand-up thing. No, no they, oh, it's is, a cringe. Is, oh, is that is that a is that a type of stand-up they call it now? Cringe that's supposed to make you like feel like wow, it's sort of like a shock comedy. But how's that different? Well, from even shock? when they talk about comics, if you go in there, like they're like, hey, the killer's. A, I'm not saying me, but they go, killer's. A, you know, he should does. He should shove his own act up his ass. That kind of thing. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. I thought you were all over this, Sam. Well, I, I, I think you've been in a different world now. I don't know if you're thinking about politics or what your game is. But, no, uh, it's just basically I'm just trying to get sleep. Mm. That's basically. And yeah. you, do, do, do you do you like to do you like to catch up on sleep during our interview? <laughs> <laughs> Andy, I also like the I also like the way you go. Yeah, we're past one. Are you telling me we're not even on the air anywhere now? This is just for like the archives or for a blooper reel? No, well, we uh, we are uh, on. We're not on terrestrial radio anymore. I got. I know. I knew. I knew what you meant. I was playing the dumb guy. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Andy! I'm not playing. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us today. Weakest, my weakest appearance. Yet. I don't think so. I think there's been some other ones. <laughs> We can mine the archives, buddy. Uh, Andy, always <laughs> a pleasure. <laughs> always the Tin Men. Always watch a pleasure. the Tin Men. All right. The, the tin, tin Men. All right. I'll watch the, the Tin, tin Men. There you go. And a movie recommendation from Andy from 14 years ago. Have you ago. seen that one? No, I haven't. Is it good? I thought they were, they were supposed to be, I thought they weren't supposed to be current. No, I know. That's good. I'll watch the Tin Men. I'll do it. it. It's a Barry Levinson film. It's really one of the funniest films I've ever seen with Mr. Really? Dreyfus, Danny DeVito. And it's hilarious. They sell aluminum siding. Wow! And it's got some stand-up comics uh, in it. I think Jackie Gal's in it, and it's like one of the—it's one of the finest movies. All right, one of my favorites. Andy Kendler, folks, thanks so much, Andy. You are the best, guys. I love you. All right, bye bye. Love you too. All right, all right, bye. Bye-bye.